Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So we're just gonna see what comes up. I could we could say the 15th to the 21st, but the timing is fluid. What do we have for Aries? I think we'll just take those. What do we have for Aries? Finger. Warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. Broom. New home, new attitude. So a new home could be new job, new place of residence. Um, don't know. I mean, that's typically what it means. But there could be a move. There could be a move in the future. Maybe you don't know it. Maybe you don't see it coming. Or maybe you're in a new home and it changes and your attitude is changing right now. Something to do with your home. All right. And sometimes a job is a home because you spend so much time at your job. You know, it's like your second home. So when you see that, whenever I think of, I learned that a long time ago when I was working for corporate America. Okay, my job was my second home, unfortunately. Um, so that this could have to do with your job. Um, either way, there's going to be a problem in the near future. It may have to do with one of your homes. Okay, so what do we have for... There could be a change in the residence, okay? It may, you may be in the same home, but somebody moves out or somebody moves in, okay? That's a change in your home, okay? Um, so yeah, there's going to be a change in, in one of your environments by the looks of things. What do we have for Aries? It's funny, I wanted to say Capricorn, so I'm not sure if some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or something like that. Maybe some, I don't know. What do we have for Aries? This is about home as well. This party is over. This is a messy situation. Um, discontent. There definitely could be a change in your home. Um, it's cleanup time. Something, and it's interesting because we have a broom. That's clean. It's cl time to clean up a mess. Okay, this is, it is a messy situation. It may have been fun. There may have been a party, or the, the, it may have been fun for a minute. But now it's time to clean up this mess. Ace of Coins reversed. That's a lost, unplanned. It's a lost opportunity. It's a no. It's um, missing an opportunity for happiness. You could be letting something go. This is unplanned as well. Choosing another option. This isn't stable. It's not secure. You could be in an unstable, insecure partnership or home environment. It's unstable. It's insecure. It's not going to last. This is choosing another option, exploring the options. You may need to explore options this week. You may be confused because there's other options being presented to you. So you may be starting to explore other options. Oh, goodness. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a setback. It is a setback. It's something coming back around to haunt you. It's something from the past, perhaps, is coming back to haunt you. Um, this is going in the wrong direction. Uh, stuck. You may be stuck in a situation that you need to get out of. You have to explore your options. Don't don't leave it up to anybody else. The, the, you have to. Okay. Um, the wheel of fortune reversed can be a shocking, unpredictable loss. Okay. This is also past mistakes. You know, this is a fall from grace. It is bad luck. Something not working out. There's something not working out. So I do believe that, you know, you're going to probably, maybe you're going to be confused as to why this is happening. Perhaps, you know, everything happens for a reason. Perhaps you, it's time for you to explore your options, you know, where you want to go. You're stuck. You're stuck in a situation that isn't practical. Okay. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. It could, there could be an unexpected loss here. And I, I'm sorry to say that. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it, 
you know, something to do with, uh, it could be a marriage. Um, we could have a divorce here, you know, and somebody's losing their home to a divorce, you know, and somehow you are impacted on this. Um, the Four of Wands is the end of a commitment. It looks like there's a commitment. There could be a separation. I mean, I hate to say that, but there could be. There's no happiness here, you know. Um, it may have been fun for a little while, but I don't think it's fun anymore. This looks like it's an unplanned loss. You know, you didn't plan it. And it could be a loss of financial stability as well. Somebody is exploring their options right now, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, making a choice. Hang man, really thinking a lot, thinking about everything that has happened. Um, sacrificing, wasting time. Somebody has been uh, trying to prove a point. Confused, definitely confused. Really, really thinking. Needing to struggle through this. This may be a week where you need to have a new perspective. You may need to look at things differently. There's stubbornness here. You may need to broaden your perspective this week. Somebody's past mistakes or past is coming back to haunt them this week. Okay, and I feel like uh, you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to think about this and be open to options. Be open. Be open. Okay, you are going to be in a position of power. All right, you are. You have the power. You, you're in the position. Okay, you're going to be making the decision. You're the decision making here. You're going to have to use your head. Don't let your heart get in the way of a choice that needs to be made. Okay, you're going to be the judge this week. You're going to be the one that makes a decision. Show no weakness. Be ready. Be ready. You may need to fight. This is, this is the emperor is somebody that has to do the right thing. The emperor is battle ready. You know, you're going to have to use your previous experience. You've got to be wise. All right. You're going to have to take control, master your emotions this week because some, I think that you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested uh, by somebody from your past. Okay. I think it's somebody or somebody that you've been living with. Either somebody from your past or somebody that you've been living with. Or somebody that you've been married to before. Or maybe somebody wants to get married. Or something to do with marriage. And, and it really, you know, um, impacts your decision. Something about marriage here. Um, there could be a separation. There could be a separation. Alright. I think there definitely could be a separation. Or a dissolving of a marriage. And now you have to explore your options. And I feel like you're going to be struggling this week. The hangman is, you're going to have to struggle through this. You may have to let something go. You know, sometimes we get this thought in our head that, and we're so stubborn that we can't forgive or we can't let something go. Maybe you need to let something go this week. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. You, and I've said Capricorn at the beginning. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. I think that you're going to be presented with another option, but it will probably be requiring you to let something go and look at something from a new perspective. Okay? Um, there could be some punishment here as well. Somebody may be trying to punish another person and they get held back. You know, because that Wheel of Fortune is a setback. It's bad luck. Um, hmm. Chariot moving in a new direction. Dealing with opposition. Taking the high road. Somebody is taking the high road. There could also be an arrival. Somebody could be coming into your life really, really, really fast. This person comes out of nowhere. This is fast forward movement. Things are going to happen fast. Things are going to change fast this week. You're going to need to be very, very, very strong. You're going to need self-discipline. 
You're going to be taking, somebody's taking a journey, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. You're going to be receiving a message or news from somebody um, this, there, or communication from somebody. I think it's somebody from your past. I do. I could be wrong, though. It could be somebody new, but I really feel like it's somebody from your past. I feel like... Um, this person may want you to go towards them. They may want you to move or they may want to move in with you or something like that. You're going to have to make that choice. I think that you're going to be dealing with some challenges. You're going to be dealing with opposition. I feel you could also be dealing with a cancer, by the way. I feel I feel as though uh, you're going to be hit with a with a tough decision. I do. And I think that there is love involved for you have some sort of feelings for this person or vice versa. So this is, I think it's a tough decision. Um, I think that you are definitely in the driver's seat. You are, you are making the judgment call. And I don't even need the judgment card. This is definitely a week of movement. Okay, this, this is, there's going to be some, some change here. Maybe you've been stuck. This is unplanned. Is definitely not planned. There could be an unplanned arrival or a message that is coming that you did not expect. You did not expect this message. Um, or somebody somebody could also be moving in. I don't know where you live. They could be moving in and it causes disruption for you. And now you need to move very quickly. There could be, There's somebody that is moving very, very fast. And however that re resonates with you, they're moving in a new direction very, very, very fast. Okay, um, <laughs> for some of you, it's almost like somebody wants wants you to go towards them or, or they want to move in with you or something like that. The High Priestess reversed. The High Priestess reversed. This is something, a secret that is being revealed. Something is being revealed this week. Somebody's been keeping to themselves. They probably haven't been communicating. They've been thinking about it a lot. They've been thinking about it. They haven't communicated. They've been uh, isolating themselves. Not really socializing. Somebody's been ignoring their intuition. Trying to prove a point. Being very, very, very stubborn. But things are going to change really fast this week. They are. Somebody is moving away from an individual that kept them stuck as well. They're finding their willpower to break free from somebody's spell. You know, they're finding a way to break free and they're going in a new direction. This is definitely going in a new direction. This is willpower. It is strength. It is taking back control from a very shallow, superficial individual. You're moving away from somebody. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Cancer. But choosing another option, moving. Five of coins, abandon, abandonment, alone. It feels like you're deserting, deserting, or you feel deserted. You know what I mean? 
you may be choosing to leave. I feel like you're choosing to leave. You're choosing to leave somebody. Or they're leaving you. There's abandonment. There's neglect. There's financial issues. Financial burdens. Somebody is in an unstable situation. And I think there's going to be a separation. I feel like somebody is choosing to depart. But there's also an arrival here as well. And maybe, maybe this is the person that is coming towards you. Maybe they need some help. Somebody needs help. Maybe you need help. The five of coins to me is financial burden. It's feeling all alone, not, not accepting help. Maybe this person didn't come forward because they were financially unstable, you know. Anyway, this week, I feel like you're going to need to listen to your intuition. You're going to need to listen to your gut. Let go of uh, control. The hangman's all about control. Okay, you need to let go of control. You need to uh, take the lead. Uh, don't let fear get in the way. Do what you want to do. Don't let worries about financial stability get in the way. Just do it. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about any type of money. Happiness is more important. Don't worry about the mess. Some of you are worried about the mess. Who cares about the mess? Nobody cares about the mess. Happiness is more important. You're going to have to make a decision this week. And it does involve letting go of somebody that may have hidden agendas. They may have had hidden agendas. This is somebody that, you know, may have deceived you. You know, they put you under some sort of spell and, and you didn't see it. They kept you held back. You know, somebody kept you held back. Maybe it was because of money. Either way, I do believe that things this is things are gonna come to a stop this week. This is this is this is a stop with a wheel of fortune reversed. I think that there's some sort of hard times here and, and it's like you there's been a delay there's been a delay with that wheel of fortune reversed there's been a delay in you getting the success that you deserve or you getting the communication or getting you know the victory that you have worked for you know it's like there's been a delay and it's because of somebody's tricks you know what I mean you're dealing with a, with a very selfish individual the high priestess reversed is uh, selfish okay I just got to be honest this is somebody that is not very spiritual that is shallow and superficial and is not awakened and you know does things that are not fun for the highest good put it that way I feel like this week you're going to be choosing to uh, face this person. It's almost like abandoning them. You know, maybe you need to choose to just walk away. It's like, you know what, I got to go. I'm choosing a better option. I do see a separation here. I do. That four of wands reversed is a separation. It could be the end of a marriage, the end of a commitment. And it could be with the person that you are dealing with. You're, you're, the person you are dealing with may have been stuck. They may have been holding on to somebody, you know, that had some sort of spell on them. You know, this person um, had held them back in some way. I think that this, if that is the case, that person is now choosing to let them go. They are choosing, they, they are now starting, they've become enlightened through isolation and they're choosing to let them go. They may want you to move in with you, you know, they may want to move in with you, they may want you to come towards them, something like that. 
I do believe that you are going to be propositioned by somebody this week. And I think it is somebody, I think it's somebody from your past. Good luck.